Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to configure the free shipping bar app. Before you create a bar, you'll first need to create your free shipping rule in your Shopify admin. You can follow the steps shown in the app's dashboard to do this. Once you have done this, you can create your bar. Let's get started. I will first select the template. Once you select the template, you can see how it looks in the preview. The preview will automatically update when you make changes to the bar. Anything you input in the name field is only for your reference. It will not affect the bar. Next, I will set my free shipping goal. I will change the value to 50. The initial message is what your visitors will see before they add products to the cart. I will add a message to the second input field. The progress message and goal achieved message are also customizable. I will leave the default messages. If you'd like to make the bar clickable, turn this option on. You can then input the link your visitors will be directed to when they click the bar. If you'd like to give your visitors the option of closing the bar, enable this option. When I scroll back up to the preview, I can see how the bar would look with the close button. You can use one of the five default display options, or if you want to display the bar in a custom location, you can select the manual placement option and then add the manual placement code to your theme file. There's also an option to select your currency and currency symbol. Auto currency conversion is a feature available in the premium plan. When it's turned on, the bar will display the currency based on the visitor's location. Under style configuration, you can set the background color of the bar, the text color, and the color of the dollar value. You can also set the background color opacity. There's also an option to use a background image. When you select the background image, you can preview it to see how it looks before saving the bar. If you subscribe to the premium plan, you can upload your own background image. Next, you can select a different font and set your font size along with other options. By default, the bar will be displayed on every page. However, there are other options such as displaying it only on your home page, on any one page, or on pages that have specific keywords. To display the bar on a single page, select this option and then input the URL. You can target pages that contain the keyword in their URLs. Simply input your keywords separated by a comma. You can exclude pages using the same options. By default, the bar will be displayed on both desktop and mobile browsers, but you have the option of displaying it on only desktop or mobile. If you are offering free shipping promotions only to certain countries, you can use geolocation targeting to display the bar only in the countries you select. If you want to display the bar everywhere except for certain countries, you can use the Exclude option. The Display Schedule option allows you to display the bar only during a specific time frame. You can use custom JavaScript or CSS code in the Custom Code Configuration Input field. There are three presets you can use to change the way your bar is displayed. Let's save the bar and see how it looks on the website. The initial message is currently displayed on the bar. When I add a product to the cart, the progress message is displayed. And when the free shipping goal is achieved, the goal achieved message is displayed. Thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions.